Today's world of home theater has been rapidly advancing forward in video technology in just the last few years. These advancements have opened up big screen enjoyment to a much wider audience, with prices falling on larger flat panel TVs and the new kid on the block, ultra short throw projectors. Heck, we remember not too long ago when a 100 inch flat panel cost as much as a high performance sports car, and it was an easy choice for most people to go with a front projector for that same size. But not everyone has a dedicated room that they can devote to a large front projection movie system. So it's great to see improvements in how to enjoy movies in a normal family room. Nowadays, you can find a high quality 85 inch TV for around $2,000 and up, and even an ultra short throw projector with a screen can be had for under $5,000. The choice between these competing technologies can be daunting for the home theater enthusiast that's looking to upgrade. While some of the pros and cons of each type of display might be obvious, we're gonna go over some of the things that you might not have considered in this video. If you're like most people, you may not have even heard of the term ultra short throw, or UST as the industry has adopted. This technology is totally different from a flat panel TV and consists of a new breed of projectors and screen material. With the UST projector, the light engine is designed for a very short distance between the projector and the screen. Typical front projectors need to be far from the screen and are usually mounted on the ceiling. A UST projector normally sits about 24 inches or less off the wall, which means it can be placed on top of a credenza or cabinet, making installation far easier than mounting a normal projector. UST projectors also have a very bright light source, usually a laser light engine which gives you enough output to rival the brightness of TVs in the right environment. While you could just shine the UST image on a white wall, the real magic and another reason for this breakthrough is the new breed of screens specifically made for UST projectors. These screens reject ambient light and are also designed to take the very steep angle of the image coming from the projector and reflect it back into the viewing area. They are made specifically for these screens so that if you turn one upside down, you'll actually have a dull image on the viewing area. These screens allow you to enjoy an immersive experience even with some light coming into the room. Flat panel TVs are well known to everyone, but there are various types of display systems, from LED to mini LED to OLED and more. For purposes of this comparison, we'll just look at them generically. Still, you may want to check out our article and video where we compare all the new flat panel technologies that we'll link in the description below. When you're watching a movie, size really does matter. You want to be as immersed in the image as possible, so you feel like you're actually part of the action rather than just watching a small TV. The catch is that almost all blockbuster movies are filmed in 2.4 a much wider aspect ratio than you'll find in a flat panel or UST projector. This means you'll have black bars at the top and bottom of the movie and that 75 inch TV doesn't look so big anymore. To learn more about widescreen, check out the video that we've linked in the description below. Well, you can read about the SMPTE and THX specs for what makes a good viewing angle to give you full immersion. We have taken our decades of experience with thousands of customers and come up with what we feel is good immersion levels from various screen sizes. Now we even have a free home theater design tool where you can enter in your screen size, set up your seats, and find out how immersive your experience will be. It turns out that most people think the immersion level is not that great after you get under about a 38 degree viewing angle. Now for an 85 inch TV, this means if you're about 9 feet away from the screen or closer, you'll have a great experience. Further away, and it's not as immersive. For a 100 inch UST, that jumps to around 11 feet and 13 feet for a 120 inch UST model. Now don't get us wrong, you can still have a great experience with a lower level, but if you want to feel fully enveloped in the movie, these are the ratios that we found that most people like. Another thing to think about is that TV prices jump considerably once you get above 85 inches, giving UST projectors that are 100 inches or 120 inches a huge leg up. There is no question that a good flat panel TV can produce a very bright image. As a matter of fact, with all the new tech and some of the TVs coming out today, the images are just stunning. Now, UST projectors can give you the perception of a very bright image, but for them to come even close to the perceived brightness of that flat panel TV, you'll have to have the lights pretty well dimmed or almost dimmed all the way. UST projectors can produce a great image in a fully lit room, but they're really going to pop when it's actually dark in the room. The question is, just how bright do you need the display to feel like you're in a movie theater in your home? When you go to a commercial movie theater, the perceived brightness of the image is nowhere near as bright as a flat panel TV. We believe that while some TVs can produce a much brighter image, the levels you can get from a good UST projector are great for movie enjoyment. Now, if you plan to watch more sports content than movies, you might prefer that extra brightness of flat panel 
offers, but you still can't beat the size factor of a UST screen. Another factor to consider is how your seating area is configured. TVs are better than UST screens for off-axis viewing, so a TV might make more sense if your seats are all over your room. With a UST screen, you're never going to see your reflection on the screen, whereas with some flat panels, you could get some reflections from objects nearby or some light spilling onto the screen. For most situations, this is never really a big deal, but something to consider when laying out your media room to accommodate a larger flat panel TV. You may have seen the term HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range. This is a recent development to deliver deeper blacks, brighter whites, and more intense and lifelike colors. HDR works best with flat panel TVs, as they can give you the light output needed for optimal enjoyment of HDR. Projectors don't have the light output you really need, but have developed what is called tone mapping to improve HDR performance. Tone mapping tech has gotten very, very good, and in our opinion, has pulled projectors closer to what flat panels can do. If you're the type of viewer who wants to think more about how the picture looks than what the director's trying to portray in the scene, you'll probably prefer the advantages of a TV for producing great HDR. But for most people, we still think it will all circle back to the size of the image and immersion level you get from your viewing distance. Now, even a 200-inch screen, if you pair it up with a bad sound system, will not be a compelling experience. We feel like you need a Dolby Atmos-capable soundbar, or even better, a system consisting of separate speakers to get that great audio experience. With flat panel TVs, you can usually place a soundbar under your TV, or if you have separate speakers, mount the TV on your wall and put the center channel right under under it. UST projectors are usually around 18 inches wide by 14 inches deep and can go up to about 9 inches tall. Then they need to be pulled off the wall to fit to the screen. They also will sit on top of a cabinet right where your center channel speaker or soundbar needs to be placed. Most cabinets aren't actually deep enough to hold the UST projector, center channel, or soundbar. Usually this means you're going to have to find a cabinet that can hold a center channel speaker in an opening under the top shelf. This is fine for a center channel speaker, but those openings are never actually wide enough to hold a full soundbar. And Dolby Atmos soundbars all have upward firing speakers on them, so you don't want to actually cover up the top of the speakers with a cabinet. All this means is you must consider both the sound and picture when designing a space for a USD projector. If you're going to use a soundbar, you may want to find a slightly deeper cabinet or a more shallow USD projector so you can put the soundbar in front of your USD projector on your cabinet. All right, that concludes our comparison of these two great home theater display technologies. We hope this overview has given you a better understanding of how you might implement one or the other to improve your video experience. Our one big piece of advice is, no matter which way you go, pay as much attention to the audio as you do the video. It is equally, if not more important, when you want to have a fully immersive movie theater experience. If you have any further questions, please reach out to our team of professionals at audioadvice.com or just give us a call or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms and we'd be happy to help you out. Now, one of the best ways to support us is to purchase from audioadvice.com, which we offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and a price guarantee on. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.